Hey y'all. Hey you. Hey you, hey me. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Tamika Collins. You can reach me on my Facebook at Tamika Collins. You can reach me on my call, my Instagram as uh nope, first of all, my TikTok is coffee, C O F E P H. And my Instagram is Coffee Sings, C O F E P H S I N G S. All one word. Ain't that crazy? My Instagram is called Coffee Sings, and I don't think I got anything singing up there. But that's going to change, okay? It's going to change. I'm, I promise. I've been telling people that forever. But hey, just follow me. Just follow me, okay? All right, just follow me. Anyway. We are reading the Bible from beginning to the end, Genesis to Revelation owns, and we are in Exodus, the 12th chapter, but you know we got to recap because i like for you to know where we at. Okay, so we are at, we just finished um, chapter 10 and number and chapter 11, where God has brought the locusts, he sent the locusts, he sent the plague of darkness for three days, and he has sent he is sending the death angel now in chapter 12, which we are about to get into. You know, I wonder how long all the plagues lasted. I don't know if I paid attention to that or if it said it in here, but I'm going to read the little bitty contents because, you know, we are coming from the Life Application Bible. It's thick. Thicky, thicky, thick, 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 thick. And look at my all my little... um. A little tabby tabs. I got them off of Instagram. I mean, not Instagram, but off of uh, Amazon. That's my friend. And Timu, my new best friend. But anyway, we are in chapter 12. So let's get started because chapter 12 is pretty meaty, I think. So, while Israelites were still in the land of Egypt, the Lord gave the following instructions to Moses and Aaron from now on. This month will be the first month of the year for you. Announce to the whole community of Israel that on the 10th day of this month, each family member must choose a lamb or a young goat to sacrifice one animal for each household. If a family is too small to eat a whole animal, let them share with another family in the neighborhood. Divide the animal according to the size of each family and how much they can eat. Okay. Make me hungry right there and I started thinking about a steak. Anyway, the animal you select must be a one-year-old male, either a sheep or a goat with no defects. Take special care of this chosen animal until the evening of the 14th day of this month. Right, of this month. Then the whole assembly of the community of Israel must slaughter their lamb or young goat at twilight they are to take some of the blood and smear it on smear it on the sides and the top of the door frames of the houses where they eat the animal. That same night, they must roast the meat over a fire and eat it along with bitter salad greens and bread made without yeast. Do not eat any of the meat raw or boiled in water. The whole animal, including the head, Legs and internal organs must be roasted over a fire. Do not leave any of it until the next morning. Burn whatever is not eaten before morning. These are your instructions for eating this meal. Be fully dressed. Wear your sandals and carry your walking stick in your hand. Eat the meal with urgency for this is the Lord's Passover. On that night, I will pass through the land of Egypt and strike down every firstborn son and firstborn male animal in the land of Egypt. I will execute judgment against all the gods of Egypt, for I am the Lord. But the blood on your doorposts will serve as a sign marking the house where you are staying. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. This plague of death will not touch you when I strike the land of Egypt. This is a day to remember. Each year, from generation to generation, you must celebrate it as a special festival to the Lord. This is a law for all time. For seven days, the bread you must eat must be made for, without yeast, 
On the first day of the festival, remove every trace of yeast from your homes. Anyone who eats bread made with yeast during the seven days of the festival will be cut off from the community of Israel. On the first day of the festival and again on the seventh day, all the people must observe a official, an official day for holy assembly. No work of any kind may be done on these days except in the preparation of food. Celebrate this festival of unleavened bread, for it will remind you that I brought your forces out of the land of Egypt on this very day. This festival will be a permanent law for you. Celebrate this day for generation to generation. The bread you must eat must be made without yeast from the evening of the 14th day of the first month until the evening of the 21st day of that month. During those seven days, there must be no trace of yeast in your homes. Anyone who eats anything made <clears throat> with yeast during this week will be cut off from the community of Israel. These regulations apply both to the foreigners living among you and the native-born Israelites. During those days, you must not eat anything made with yeast. Wherever you live, eat only bread made without yeast. Without the yeast, people, yet without the yeast. Then Moses called all the elders of Israel together and said to them, Go, pick out a lamb or a young goat for each of your families, then slaughter the Passover animal. Drain the blood into a basin, then take a bundle of hyssop branches and dip it into the blood. Brush the hyssop across the top and sides of the door frames of your houses. And... No one may go out through the door until morning, for the Lord will pass through the land to strike down the Egyptians. But when you see, when he sees the blood on top and the sides of the door frame, the Lord will pass over your home. He will not permit his death angel to enter your house and strike you down. Remember, these instructions are a permanent law that you and your descendants must observe forever. When you enter the land of the Lord, you, as promised, to you give you you will when you enter the land of the lord the lord has promised when you enter the land the lord has promised to give you you will continue to observe the ceremony then your children will ask what does the ceremony mean and you will reply it is the passover sacrifice to the lord for he passed over the houses of the israelites in egypt and Though he struck the Egyptians, he spared our families. When Moses had finished speaking, all the people bowed down to the ground and worshipped. So the people of Israel just did, did just as the Lord had commanded through Moses and Aaron. And that night at midnight, the Lord struck down all the firstborn sons in the land of Egypt. From the firstborn son of Pharaoh, who sat on his throne, to the firstborn son of the prisoner in the dungeon, even the firstborn of their livestock were killed. Pharaoh and all of his officials and all the people of Egypt woke up during the middle, I mean, during the night and loud wailing was heard through the land of Egypt. There was not a single house where someone had not died. Pharaoh sent for Moses during the night. Get out, he ordered. Leave my people and take the rest of the Israelites with you. Go and worship the Lord you have requested. Take your flocks and your herds, as you said, and be gone. Go, but bless me as you leave. He want a blessing. Mm. Anyway. All the Egyptians urged the people of Israel to get out of the land as quickly as possible, for they thought, we will all die. Leave, because you you, 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 you bringing upon all this wrath. Get out. Then the Israelites took their bread, dough, before yeast hat was added. They wrapped their kneading boards in their cloaks and carried them on their way on their shoulders, and the people of Israel did as Moses had instructed. They asked the Egyptians for clothing and articles of silver and gold. The Lord caused the Egyptians to look favorably on the Israelites, and they gave the Israelites whatever they asked for. So they stripped the Egyptians of their wealth. That night, the people of Israel left Ramses and started for Sukkoth. There, 
were about 600,000 men, plus all the women and children. A rabble of non-Israelites went with them, along with great flocks and herds of livestock. For bread, they baked flat cakes from the dough without yeast they had brought from Egypt. It was made without yeast because people because the people were driven out of Egypt in such a hurry that they had no time to prepare the bread or other food. The people of Israel had lived in Egypt for 430 years. In fact, it was on the last day of the 430th year that all the Lord's forces left the land. On this night, the Lord kept his promise to bring his people out of the land of Egypt. So this night belongs to him. And it must be commemorated every year by all the Israelites from generation to generation. Then the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, these are the instructions for the festival of the Passover. No outsiders are allowed to eat the Passover meal, but any slave who has been purchased may eat it if he has been circumcised. Temporary, temporary residents and hired servants may not eat it. Each Passover lamb must be eaten in one house. Do not carry any of this meat outside and do not break any of its bones. The whole community of Israel must eat, must celebrate this Passover festival. If there are foreigners living among you who want to celebrate the Lord's Passover, let all their males be circumcised. Only then... May they celebrate the Passover with you like any native born Israelite, but no uncircumcised male may ever eat the Passover meal. This instruction applies to everyone, whether a native born Israelite and a foreigner living among you. So all the people of Israel follow all of the Lord's commands to Moses, that Moses and Aaron all the Lord's commands to Moses and Aaron. So all of the people of Israel follow all the Lord's commands to Moses and Aaron. On that very day of the Lord, uh, the, on that very day, the Lord brought the people of Israel out of the land of Egypt like an army. I told you it was a long chapter, didn't I? That was just chapter 12, y'all. Chapter 12. Wow. Go down. Moses, way down in Egypt land, tell old Pharaoh to let my people go, go down, Moses. Way down in Egypt land, in tell old Pharaoh to let my people go. Yes, let them go. Get out. Anyway. And ain't you glad? Oh, ain't you glad? Okay, we still celebrate the Passover. Passover, yes, we do on Easter. But I'm so glad that we don't got to do it. We don't have to do all of that anymore because you know what? Jesus came and He came for everybody. You don't have to be a, 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 a Israelite. You can, you know, He came for the Hebrews, the Gentiles, the Israelites, all everybody, all us. All we gotta do is believe in His name. Bless the name of the Lord. Believe that he is the son of God. And do his will in his way, right? I'm so happy. Thank you, Jesus. Anyway, thank you so much for rocking with me. Till next time. Peace.